All right, guys. So what we have here is the Axial SCX-10 Jeep Wrangler G6 Falcon Edition with the special Falcon Wild Peak tires and the special paint job, the light bar and everything. So this is my first RC car of this type. You know, I've never really owned a scale truck before. I've never really gotten into the crawler scene or anything, but I didn't want a competition crawler because my dad has a low C night crawler. And while it's cool and all, um, there ain't much of a challenge to it, and I can't really make it that realistic. So, I got myself one of these, and I literally just got back from the hobby store right now, so the seals are still intact there. So we're going to cut it open and unbox it here. The only thing that I don't like about this car already is the fact that I have to solder because all my batteries are Dean's and it comes with the regular Tamiya white connectors which isn't a big deal I mean it's not really that difficult but it's just kind of an annoyance I guess um, okay hang on let me set you guys down here Bring it back a little bit. There we go. Um, so it looks like we got another one back here. And I'm assuming we've got another one on the other side. Sorry guys, I haven't been posting in a while, but I've just been really busy with school. and trying to keep my grades up and make sure everything is ready to go. Um, you know what I mean. Um, I guess I probably shouldn't open up both sides, but oh well, the factory seals are cut and the box is too big to fit on my workbench at the moment, so I'm going to unbox it off camera and just start laying stuff out as I get it out. Alright, so we got some decals here, um, as you guys can see. We got some decals, the instruction manual, so um, we'll see, I can probably figure out how to take it all apart and do maintenance on it and stuff on its own, because... I do this crap all the time, but, um, you know, never hurts. So we got the plethora of extra parts and parts trees and your trail markers and a wrench, like one of those little Traxxas wrenches, um, some steering arms, shock adjustments, stuff like that, um, light bucket covers, um, extra body posts, things like that. I've heard that Axial's always been really good about giving you extra parts and stuff. Um, we got the little dinky Axial radio, which I never owned one of these, so I can't say if it's good quality or not. But I mean, it feels alright. It doesn't feel like super cheap, even though it's definitely not a, um, you know, KO Pro Pro or anything. But it'll do for what this car is. This isn't a race car, so I don't need to really have the best radio, you know, and that'll be good, so I don't have to worry about dropping my good radio out on the trails or something. So, now we got the car. So, as you guys can see here, let me move this radio and the fuel back a little bit. Not that new car smell, man. Alright, so there, there she is. You've got the Axial Falcon Edition. Those Falcon tires look pretty nice. Look like an, almost what I have on my truck, a nice all-terrain. I have the Pro Comp Extreme all-terrains on my real truck, so those are kind of cool. Kind of matches somewhat. Not the paint or anything, but just the whole package that we got going on here. So, what have we got holding it in? I'm assuming zip ties of a sort. the box, but we might not have much of a choice here. Alright guys, let me unbox this off camera here. 
Um, we need some cutters. These will do. I hope anyway. There we go. Sorry guys, I can't get this all in footage, but I mean, it's not much fun watching me cut zip ties. But you guys want to see the car, because that's what I wanted to see when I was looking at videos. And I'll do running videos and update videos on this car too. Alright. Let me get the zip ties out of here, because that's not attractive. Sorry, Ben's a little dirty. I've been cleaning up my cars. Um, so, what we got going on here, you guys. Oh, we got one more zip tie. This is what we got going on. Alright, so we got LED buckets on top. They're light buckets that are actually securely fastened. They're not really, doesn't really look like it's cheaply made. And they are made to fit real LEDs. They are direct, you just unscrew a bolt, stick the LED in there, and put the cap back on, and they're ready to go. So that's kind of cool. Um, the front bumper, this is a Poison Spider front bumper. It's plastic, but hey, whatever. Uh, um, it's a nice. It's got a nice flat spot here on the front. Let me show you guys. So you could bolt in a winch if you wanted to, or put some LED buckets. It's got a spot for LEDs to be put in right there that aren't protected, but they're pretty receded into the bumper, so it's okay, I think. Um. Pretty scale looking from the start. You know, they got a steering wheel in there and the dash cluster and rock sliders. And um, it is a bareback, just like the kit. It doesn't have a um, real back bumper at all. But who needs those, right? <laughs> um, so I think it looks pretty good. So we'll put you down here and we'll take off the body and see what we got going on under here like I said before we gotta do some soldering but that's okay soldering isn't really one of my favorite things to do but it's not too difficult so body pins are a little tricky to get up but nothing major so as you guys can see here it's just bolts on the cage just bolts on with rubber grommets and stuff Lexan feels decently thick anyway, I guess in the spots that it needs to be. So that looks pretty cool, they did a nice job on that. And so under here, we got this Tactic servo that is a Metal Gear, Metal Gear servo and I believe it has just about 150 ounces of torque. Um, new ESC that's supposedly waterproof. I'm just going to call it water resistant because I know how these things go. Um, the Axial 27 turn motor. Um, nice looking sealed receiver box. Not totally sealed. It's got a opening over here, but you could easily waterproof that. I'll show you this. Here. So there's an opening like on most standard receiver boxes, but you could definitely put some silicone or something in there and make it pretty waterproof um it is a dual stage spring setup in here with fake coil over well with fake piggyback um looking shocks but they look scale anyway um we'll see how these do they seem a little bit thick on the oil maybe um i haven't run any of these things before so um, I don't really know setup wise for this, but no, no, it feels all right. Um, one big thing about Axial that's really kind of crappy is that they don't come with the RTRs at least don't. I I wish that companies would offer RTRs as like one RTR as like the base one to save people money and then the other um, to have just as much as the kit but just have it already built for the guys that don't have the time to build a kit or don't want to or just want to get out and run with all the upgraded stuff or some of the upgraded stuff anyway like the essentials like the steering links and these cross links and maybe even some metal 
drive shafts. These are different drive shafts, though. They do appear to be a little bit bulkier, which is a little bit better than the previous ones because they'd always go and um, twist up. But there was a mod to help fix that, but they still would do it under extreme conditions. Um, battery mounts in the back. Like I said, the Traxxas, or the Tamiya connectors. Um, you got a spear gear, spur gear cover. So, yeah. Um, this is pretty much it, guys. 1.9 inch tires. Not inch tires, but 1.9 um, size tires. So, it's pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll... I'm sure you guys will be looking forward to more of this. This is so a lot. Um, a small update on the rest of the stuff. The RB6 is still in its place. The truck is got a brand new look to it. This is the 2012 Bulldog for the RC8T. Direct fit pretty much besides different body mount holes and stuff. But pretty much good to go. It's all cleaned up. I did a complete clean job on it. All the way down to the hinge pins and everything, everything out. So the buggy is up next for that. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys had a good Christmas. I'll see you guys in a later video.